since day nine of 12 days of anime is about samurai flamenco, I decided it was time to... Henshin! <laughs> it's possibly the single lamest thing I've ever done. That's not true. <laughs> But, yeah, Samurai Flamenco started this season, and I think it's safe to say it's my favorite anime of the current season, other than Kuroko. I'm just going to have to let them share that spot. But, <clears throat> anyway. Um, I can't remember when this moment specifically happened. It was fairly early on, and it's not plot ruiny or anything. Um, eventually, uh, a former uh, Tokusatsu star shows up in the series and becomes um, Samurai Flamenco's mentor and trainer. And... <clears throat> You know, I really enjoyed that um, it kind of kept in the theme of... Where am I going with this? I thought it was funny. That's what I thought. That, you know, it had this kind of serious tone going. Um, like... You know, kind of like a less vulgar kick-ass, mm -hmm. and through a different cultural filter. And the fact that he's trained by who someone who's essentially a stunt fighter is just kind of entertaining, in that, um, depending on how he's trained, stunt fighters don't always... Um, yeah, I'm starting, uh, I should have planned this better, wow. Um, though they did kind of do a good job of making it <laughs> seem that, um, this stunt fighter in particular had a very strong martial arts background instead of just the choreographed type stuff you see in most, co in, uh, Kamen Rider Sentai type shows where it's more style than actual techniques. So that worked out well. But then again, it's not reality, so they don't have to worry about stuff like that. Which kind of kind of comes up, I guess, because some of his moves are kind of flashy. That and I'm wondering how he learned to use all those weapons, but, you know, that's just suspension of disbelief. But, yeah, just the introduction of that sort of personality, and it just fit so well with the rest of the show, too. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say for Day 9. Uh, really, I say that's my favorite moment. The entire show is my favorite moment. So, that's... Yeah. If you haven't watched it, watch it. If you have watched it, watch it again. If you were turned off by a certain thing that happened around episode 10 or 11, um, maybe earlier, when the weird things start happening, if that turned you off, try it again. I actually enjoyed the direction it went. Um... It would have been cool if it stayed with its original, just like, you know, Japanese kick-ass type direction. But, um, I like where it's headed, I guess. I have no idea what's going to happen next after the last episode. But it, the next one should go up tomorrow, if not tonight. I can never remember when it actually goes up. I'm rambling now. I'm trying to make up for the shitty first part where I started to say things and then didn't. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I said, all right, that's all for the day. Bye-bye.